So, um, let me just start by saying that I've never played the games of The Last of Us, so this review is coming from somebody whose really only big experience with it was Episode 1. Um, though I know a few spoilers from the game, but just because, like, you know, my friend was talking about it. Um, so, I actually kind of like this, though, because I go into it knowing pretty much nothing about the story or the characters. Um, though I do like Pedro Pascal as an actor, though I think he's a bit of a dick in real life. I, um do appreciate him much as an actor, you know, he was in Game of Thrones, he was in The Mandalorian, um, I haven't seen Narcos, but holy, he was good in that. Uh, I also like Bella Ramsey, because, um, she was in Game of Thrones, but she had kind of a minor part, like, she was in it a lot, but she really didn't do much, like, she did, you know, she was kind of in the background most of the time, so I feel like she didn't really get a chance to, like, really act, you know, and, uh, so I think this is a really good opportunity for her. So, yeah, um, obviously this show has been hyped, uh, a lot lately, and, you know, I thought, you know, why not? <laughs> I'll watch it. HBO is known for the great shows. You know, I think they're probably one of the most consistent channels ever. Uh, because, like, so much of the stuff they put out is just top tier. And just very cinematic. And they just know how to make television, you know. Um, so, I watched this episode. Was not disappointed. They had that epic HBO theme song with the other HBO shows do. They have really gritty, um, just a really gritty plot grounded characters, just, you know, everything you'd want from a good show. I'm not the, uh, I'm not the biggest zombie fan, you know, I was never really into The Walking Dead or Night of the Living Dead or any other shows with dead in the title, um, but, you know, a good TV is good TV, honestly, like, do I look like somebody who would watch This Is Us? No. But yeah, basically the characters in this got me hooked, um, I love the, just the directing, the action scenes, it's very well paced for an 80 minute episode. Um, I know a lot of shows do long old pilots, and I'm really glad this one did, because if it was like a two-portal, then you wouldn't really meet um, Bella Ramsey's character, so, you know, uh, I'd say like the first half of the episode was very brutal, I love like the slow, subtle things that make you think like, okay, something's not quite right, like the, like the little girl twitching her arm, or the, um, the old lady like looking kind of zoned out, like um, Moraine Man, when he had the old but confusing. Uh, very tragic what happened to uh, the Doddle character, who I don't remember the, na the name of. I think her name is Jane. Um, and, yeah, she, she's actually a pretty good actress for only being in what I assume is the first episode. Um, and Pedro Pascal just nailed it. You know, I feel like in Game of Thrones, while he was kind of major, he wasn't in that many episodes. And in The Mandalorian, he doesn't really act much because he's behind the helmet. This one you could totally see as like facial expressions, um, just on full force here. He is incredible in this pilot. His grief and just, you know, kind of bitterness. And then the whole, like that 20 year jump, the time jump caught me off guard. Like I wasn't expecting that, you know, obviously it's at 2003 at the beginning, but like I just thought it would be like a period piece, like, like I don't know, like that 70 so Stranger Things. I don't know, it would like actually be set in the present, you know. Um, we didn't really see that much of Elle, but she, Ellie, I think, uh, but, you know, what we have seen, she's very likable, you know, being, like, a flawed teenage character, but for some reason, like, she's very important, so I don't know what that's about, it's kind of like the mystery, like, why is this girl so important, um, but she has some military training, so she could handle herself in a, in a fight, so, you know, I think this will be useful in the next few episodes, um, and I feel like they're gonna do that thing with, like, Stranger Things did, where, like, the main character loses the Doddle, but then they have, like, this sort of, like, adopted Doddle dynamic, you know, like Hopple did with Eleven, uh, I think Joel's gonna do with Ellie, um, you know, we're just gonna see how that goes as the progresses. One more thing I gotta mention is, uh, <laughs> I was surprised that the show had not one, but two Agents of Sealed kill cast members in it. Um, you know, the guy at the beginning talking about the fungus, He's John Hanna, you know, you know him as the uh, professor from S.H.I.E.L.D. or the uh, guy from The Mummy. And then Gabriel Luna, who played Ghost Rider, he played um, Pedro's brother. So it's just kind of cool, like, seeing actors you don't know are going to be in something, appear in something. I don't know, I just think that's neat. So as long as the show remains consistent, because, like, I've heard from some people that it's very faithful to the video game, you know, and I think that's always the best approach. Um, I think the creator said, like, they're only gonna make, like, two or three seasons because they don't want to go past the video games, which I incredibly respect, you know? Like, rarely does a, uh, post-script season really work, you know? Like, I guess Big Little Lies is the only exception. Um, I would say, like, my one downside is, like, after the time jump, 
you kind of left a little confused, like, who are these people, what's going on, how do they know each other, like, how did, um, how did Joel know that lady, the, the, um, you know, the lady in her 40s with L. like, how did he know her, and, you know, what exactly is the, uh, lighthouse, light bug, whatever the fuck they're called, like, what do they do, um, I'm assuming they're kind of like an anti-authoritarian thing, so I'm automatically on their side, because I hate the government, but yeah, overall, um, very enjoyable pilot, like I said, I can't wait to see where the show goes, um, and nobody better spoil me in the comments, you know, nobody better do that, if you do that, I'll kill you, uh, <laughs> like, um, Joel killed that gold, oh, the gold killed his daughter, <laughs> that's sad, so, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, peace.